Everybody, this is Guild Wars Reborn today with a unique video for Guild Wars 2021 uh, relating to something that I get asked a lot. So I figured I'd make a video on this and hopefully answer a lot of people's questions as well as by the end of this video you'll be able to know the answers to all these questions. So stay tuned. If you haven't already known, I've been doing Guild Wars videos for over four years. So if you haven't sub subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Feel free. Uh, you'll have a lot of content you can already watch in the past as well as in the future to come. Uh, whether you're into PvP, PvE, Speed Clears Dungeons, you're a beginner player, you're experienced, you'll enjoy a large variety of different content that I'll bring in. Uh, I'm not the best by no means, but hey, I enjoy the game just like you all do as well, hopefully in 2021 and going on into future years as well so let's go ahead and dig in five questions that I get asked the most so this video is going to be literally uh, me explaining what I, I get asked and my view on it and how I respond so first one is are you that YouTube blank 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 so meaning a lot of people all the time I'd say at least five to six people whenever I'm online for over an hour message me hey are you that person that actually does YouTube videos are you that one that does this guide or hey thank you so much for this video or that video or hey I came back to Guild Wars because of this and that so yes I am that YouTube person as you can watch here the reborn monk I am him uh, of course feel free to add me to your friends list message me anytime you have questions as well so that is my number one most asked question alright next on the list is where do you get your headpiece so the intro to all of my videos I started about a year and a half ago I made the introduction kinda of where I just show hey this is me in game and I'm actually at the area that I did it at in Ascalon City I'm an international so nobody's bothering me but um, uh, my headpiece I actually purchased I think I purchased it about five or six years ago for five dollars at the Guild Wars store I don't know what it is now it's a costume but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So, yes, that is uh, something additional you have to purchase. So it is called the Lunatic Court Helm. So there's an actual whole costume for this. I'll go ahead and show you, actually, since it's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, not my number one, but my top five. So the Lunatic Court Helm is this question. So I'll go ahead and show you where I got it. I purchased it at the store like five or six years ago. It's been a while. It's actually a costume. I'll show you the whole costume, something that I purchased, but let me see if I can obtain it real quick. But that's, I only use the headpiece. So there's a whole costume for it, but I only use the headpiece. So if I use a tonic, so right now it basically makes anything I wear fiery. And it just looks cool. I thought it was something that uh, was a good investment because I enjoy it. So I'm, a, I'm using a tonic right now. My favorite mini pet, as you saw in a previous video, the Destroyer. And it makes the your headpiece fiery but I wish I could show you the rest of the costume there it is so you also can get the um let me go to the guild hall you also with a whole costume for that as well so that's how it looks for the whole costume where you actually have the lunatic court headless fire finery as well as the court helm itself so it depends on what route there's another one you can do too that's not headless so there's two options but it's all included so just check out on wiki if you slash type slash wiki that's another side note anybody you could type slash wiki like I'm doing right here spacebar and whatever it is you're looking for so for example I would actually type lunatic court helm so hopefully that answered the second question there for that one um, definitely get asked a lot sorry if I draw that one out so let's go ahead and dig into the next one let me get back to my little fiery place so question number three I get this one asked very often as well it is can I join your guild Hey, do you have a guild I can join? Hey, Reborn, uh, I was in your guild a while ago. Can I rejoin? Etc. So anything relating to a guild question? Uh, yes. Also, people ask before I mention this. Hey, are you the leader of Legit? So there you go. That's another one. Since the beginning of the intro video, in the end, I'll have LGIT. See, right here. So yes, I lead... 20 guilds. Uh, this is my Kurzik side. I'm the alliance leader of the Kurzik and Luxon. So I have 20 accounts. My main account is on the Kurzik ally lead. Right now we're low on faction if anybody cares about faction. But we are heavily active. Uh, the way I manage this is I have 19 alt accounts and then my main account. Well, I actually have a main on the Luxon as well. But yes, anybody that wants to join our guild, we always have spaces available. Right now I have a four week round to play. So normally it depends depending on seasonality of the year, but we're around the three to four week kick rate. 
So, yes, you can join legit. You can join my guild at any time. It's not my guild. It's actually a team. We manage as a team uh, to make this uh, Guild Wars community alive and active. It's not the best guild. It's not the worst guild by no means, but it is the largest guild. And uh, I don't take pride in it, but I have to because I lead it and manage something. And it's very important to me because in Guild Wars 2021, even 2019, 2020, it's been a big journey to uh, keep Guild Wars alive and active. And everybody that comes in, including some of y'all listening right now, are um, may not know if Guild Wars is still alive and active. So that will go into my next question in a minute. But our Alliance and Guild offers that. So if you're wanting to join, you can reach out. Links in the description for Facebook and Discord, as well as you can message me in-game. And there's a lot of options. You'll see us also in Camden all the time. So yes, to, uh, that one's number three. Another one, top five ants all the time is, can I join your guild, legit guild, etc. I mentioned. So really good to see a lot of people are welcome to um, coming back to Guild Wars as well. And that goes in the next one. The next question is, is Guild Wars still active? Is Guild Wars still alive? Is Guild Wars still worth coming back to? Hey, I've been a lot away for 10 to 12 years. If I come back, is Guild Wars still alive, etc. So all of these questions relate to Guild Wars being active. The answer to that is yes and no. More yes than no because it's, it's a 15-year-old plus game. But Guild Wars is still alive and active. I manage the largest alliance. I see a huge trend of data that I manage month to month to see how many players we recruit, how many leave, how many go inactive. And just on that scale, I can say that Guild Wars is definitely still heavily active. But it is not as active as it was about 8 to 10 years ago when Guild Wars 2 came out and kind of corrupted the activity. It pulled a whole group of people to Guild Wars 2 instead. And uh, we still get a trend of players that return to Guild Wars 1 from Guild Wars 2. We also get a group of players that are new to Guild Wars 1 because they bought Guild Wars 2 wanting to work on the Hall of Monuments for all of their perks that they offer. And then we get a large group of people that are just returning to a PC gaming realm and they want to try out a new MMORPG. It's not new, but it's new to them. We get a lot of people like that as well. And just a trend of players that miss the old Guild Wars um, routines that they had when they played back when they were a child and they were an adult now. So, Guild Wars is still active. The answer to that is yes, it's worth playing again if you want. And, of course, mentioning from the previous question, if you need an active alliance, Legit's here to welcome you as well. So, that's the fourth question. Uh, I have one more. Before that, just want to say thank you all again for watching all the time, as well as hitting the like button on every video and subscribing if you haven't, and checking out the links in the description to show support for the channel, as well as just being here watching my videos. And feel free to ask questions as well in the comments. So let's go on to the last one. Uh, before that, I'm just looking at this little fiery thing. It's kind of cool that I have this little thing on it. Let me go ahead and go back to my monk look there. There we go. So, all right, last question. Can you price check this? Can you tell me what this is worth? Hey man, Reborn, this is a couple of items that are old school. I don't know the value for. Can you look at them and tell me what they're worth? Hey, are these items merch or is this worth selling? Where can I sell these items, etc. So a lot of these questions I get asked on my top five all the time. And keep in mind that this is just a generic list of, of the top five that I have. I've, getting, I've gotten asked so many questions of different variations, but I kind of summarized them into these top five that were related to some sort of summary view because there's such different categories depending on what's asked. But the, the number five is can you price check this item? So all the time people will ask me if I can look at an item, give them a value, is it merch food or if it's an item that they can sell to people or is it worth keeping? So that's another big question that I get asked. So that's the top five questions that are answered. So to go on to that question, how I know the price is normally through just I spend time in Camadon. I also understand how Guild Wars market is today versus five years ago. You can look at how Ectos and Arm Braces and Platinum and everything relating to the market and how things have trended and changed over the years. Also, what type of items that are inscribable, that are common, core, core, core weapon or core class um, attributes that are rare or something obtainable through just a generic chest like any chest can drop it what area location as well as if it comes from organization chest or if it's old school if it's a dual inherit shield for example or a old school rare weapon the skin there's a lot of different variations to that but guild wars legacy uh forum i use as well to kind of learn that and some stuff i don't know the answer to so there's also the camanon website check 
link that I give people all the time as well. So a lot of this stuff you can find in our Discord link in the description to get price checks as well. I direct people there. But that answers that question hopefully. And ultimately, there's a lot of videos I've made on that. But at the end of the day, I am no expert by no means on knowing the value of everything. But that's one of the questions. So to summarize, once again, thank you all for watching. This is Guild Wars Reborn. The top five questions I get asked the most. First is, are you that YouTube blank, blank, blank? Second is, where do you get your headpiece? Third is, can I join your guild? Blank, 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 legit, alliance, who are you? What is your guild, etc. And then fourth is, is Guild Wars still active? Is it worth coming back? And fifth, can you price check this? What is this value? So there's the five questions I get asked the most. That's not the only five questions. That There might have been one or two that might be more asked frequently, but more recent in the past six months, those are the ones I've noticed the most active-wise that I get asked in-game. So hopefully that answered some questions as well as uh, if you're wanting to return back to the game, once again, going back to the one of questions. Feel free to come back. Join the Legit Alliance as well if you want. Uh, links in the description show support for the channel as well as, uh, hey, stay tuned for more Guild Wars content. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one. I appreciate you all always watching. Hopefully I answered some questions, and look forward to many years to come with Guild Wars until it closes. Uh, whatever that is, no telling, don't want to think about it. But uh, pretty exciting times to see how active Guild Wars still is after 15 plus years. So coming into Kaminon, I'll go back to American English. But that's the end of this video. So there's the top five questions. Uh, if you want to challenge me and give me some new question, and I may be able to answer. Um, I get questions all the time. Uh, I'm not the expert by no means, and of course I'm just doing this for entertainment reasons. But see, Guild Wars is still alive, even though it's not the most active. I remember when Kaminon would have like five or six districts. Lion's Arch would be the same for trading. But to get into District 1, it's full right now. And uh, it's full almost 24 hours a day uh, trying to get into that, which means there's over, I think, 100 or 200 players at any given time in that district. That's one of the big trading hubs, so if you want to go into correlate into trading, then you can do that. But anyway, I'm going to stop now. Oh, somebody who probably watches me here is going to ask, but I'm offline, so they can't message me. But anyway, thanks for watching. If that guy's watching here, comment and say, hey, man, you're the YouTube guy. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Later, everybody.